All right. Sorry. So um, so this this map was flipped around east to west. So it was, you know, it was actually flipped around east to west and north to south. So I think that was largely just the underworld tradition, you know, a lot of uh, ancient peoples, you know, they made a big deal of like how east is west and north is south and up is down in the underworld. Um, or, but it could have also been to throw off, throw people off, uh, who knows, but it seems to me that it might've thrown off the original, um, redactor, the original, um, composer of the book of two ways, like the oldest book of two ways is, um, this one, um, uh, bloody hell. Um, so this is, uh, B2BO. This is the book of two ways of, uh, Jehudinacht, the Nomark, the gnome lord of, uh, you know, that whole province of Egypt where these are all from, um, the, the hair gnome where Heracompolis is, or maybe it's, I'm not sure if the gnome is called Heracompolis or uh, if that was just a metropolis in it. Um, so anyway, what I suspect is that they, they confused, um, they didn't realize that this, these early maps were flipped east to west. And so when they trans, when they uh, were, you know, copying it, and um, they basically mixed it up. So I think that might be partly the reason. Like especially, I think that's the reason that they have Tierra del Fuego or whatever pointing so far uh, east. Um, Whereas, you know, here it's pointing west at virtually the same angle as that. Um, but I also think that might be part of the reason for some of the kind of dramatic uh, twists and turns here is because if they confuse the, the South America, they probably confuse North America too. And so I'm guessing that, you know, that that could have thrown off some other aspects up here. Uh, but clearly this map is also based upon other maps. Um, so, and, and I'm suspecting that it's based on other maps that were not flipped. So, but maybe the maps that were not flipped either didn't have uh, South America or didn't have the details of South America or maybe those maps had been copied off of uh, this map or something in the same vein. And so they had already flipped uh, South America wrong. Um, so anyway, and in that one, originally, there's no line. There's no actual line through it. Uh, they do do the same thing of kind of, you know, showing South America as if it's due south of uh, North America as opposed to being uh, southeast as it technically is. And that might partly be so it can uh, accommodate this tradition because, you know, here you can't really see the, the line, the prime meridian. Um, but I think there is, I think there was originally a line here. But anyway, it whether it's here or not, at least there's like basically a straight pathway for one. Um, whereas like in reality, the Americas are, you know, you can't really draw a straight line because it's, it's all twisty. Um, but the rest of these... What I think these might be is based are you know basically geography 
like uh, Ptolemy is like a geography of the world. So if it starts, like it seems to, uh, they generally start it, you know, Sherbini and a lot of his sources, they, they start the text, um, you know, they start it uh, up here and, you know, there's a kind of introductory thing and there's some spells here and then the under, and then, the underworld America and then it continues on and then I believe and this is the regular way of reading text in Egypt because these are viewed like all the text is written from this perspective like um, you know these are this is uh, these are all kind of like on their side according to like modern mapping uh, tendencies uh, where west was up and south was down. And since Egyptians, ancient Egyptian uh, hieroglyphs were read from right to left and from up to down, um, they naturally read it, you know, this way and then this way. So this could be basically a world map. I mean, it's certainly a map of America, but I believe... You know, Ptolemy shows how you don't have to actually draw a map to make a map because his map, he doesn't draw anything. He just gives coordinates and then describes the places. And my suspicion is that <clears throat> the rest of this coffin text is largely doing that because it certainly contains descriptions of other lands in the rest of the text. Um, here's one that's very stylized. I think this is B. Oh, is this B6C? Uh, the, and it, this one only has one coast. It just only has the, uh, the sorry, the west coast, at least um, drawn. And there's some that don't have anything drawn. They just have text, just like Ptolemy. So, um, so yeah, Ptolemy, I think, should be a key to reading the book of two ways and all the funerary texts the book of the dead the pyramid texts all the coffin texts <clears throat> i mean not you know th there might be some that are in you know somehow different but it seems to be that the 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 norm is the same thing you know the same concept as what uh, ptolemy's geography was this one is uh B3C, uh, it's also quite old. Uh, it's for a, a woman in uh, there in Hierapolis. <clears throat> so, you know, there's a chance also that the black lines here on the East Coast are related to this black line here. Um, but this black line also, there's a chance at least that this actually is uh west africa and that that's why it has the same sort of black lines around it as these islands and stuff um and in this version in some of the early versions the the lake of fire is white so that's the prime meridian in the middle is white um, and also the sunset and the sunrise are white or whatever these are. Um, <clears throat> so, but you see like all this other text, like here's the text starts here, goes here. And just like um, Ptolemy's, it basically starts with America and then goes to the rest of the world. So I think right here, around here is like Egypt or something. And I'm not really sure how much of the world it shows, whether, you know, it might show the whole world, it might show part of the world, um, but it certainly shows, talks about the area around Egypt and talks about Egypt uh, somewhere over here. And these, I'm not sure. This a lot of this is spells, but 
chances are, you know, some of these descriptions over here, like maybe celestial, but chances are some of them are also terrestrial. So chances are, yeah, it basically is a full world map. And uh, I'm not really sure the exact orientation of all of it other than this is America, Egypt, somewhere around here, and then there's a bunch of other stuff. Um, you know, here's a closer view here. We see Florida. Like this map, clearly, like somebody had explored and found that, you know, Florida was more dramatic than in uh, the earlier map or perhaps that had become uh, kind of pointier than it was during the Ice Age when the original map might have been uh, made. Um, so yeah, these are all different. Um, and so yeah, I don't know. I I um basically the point is that just that 